The search is over at Little Wall Lake after the last missing ISU rower was pulled from the water. Sunday, five students from the Iowa State Crew Club were rowing at Little Wall Lake when their boat capsized. Three students made it safely ashore. The body of the fourth was found in the lake by authorities that day. And this morning, a fifth body was recovered from the lake. Local 5's Lake and McGee is at Little Wall Lake tonight. And Lake and walk us through the search. Yeah, Stephanie, so I was here as divers found the last remaining body of that crew member uh, of the ISU club there. So where I'm standing is where they loaded the body up onto the ambulance. Now the search and recovery team started around 7 o'clock this morning. That's because you can probably guess the wind gusts were extremely dangerous for any of their crew members to be out there on the water searching. So they wanted to go ahead and get that done. And again, they successfully found that second body. In early and somber morning. We got the Story County dive team down and we did recover the second victim. The wind causing issues for the recovery team. We knew the wind was going to pick up and we weren't going to put any rescuers' lives in jeopardy with the way the wind is now up to what, 50 mile an hour gusts. Sonar equipment was brought in by the Ventura Fire Department to locate the body in the lake. Neighbors that have the lake in their backyard say the time of year played a factor in not being able to help rescue the students. This time of year, people do not have their boats and their hoists and docks in the water. If this had been May, any number of the people living alongside the lake would have been able to jump on a boat and get out there quickly. At ISU. You know, you don't expect that to happen. You know, students upset by the passing of their classmates. It's just really heartbreaking to hear that, you know, students who are in our classes and, and our friends are unfortunately passed away. It's kind of scary to hear that um, this happened to one of our athletics teams and it's kind of just, I don't know, taken back a minute. And the community shaken by the loss of fellow Cyclones. For a parent's closure, I have kids that are approximately that age and it's a uh, very sad deal. It is a huge campus and we're all a cyclone nation and it's just kind of sad. Now there's no word yet if the wind or the weather caused the boat to capsize or if there were even life jackets on board. Reporting live in Hamilton County, I'm Lake and Mickey, Local 5 News, We are Iowa.